Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I'm Pat with Shaking Everybody. I hope you guys got some great plans for the weekend, okay? So I'm here in Atlanta. It's supposed to be kind of rainy this weekend, but still make the most of it, okay? Maybe this can be one of those in-house weekends where you clean up shit, all right? So also it's a need to declutter as well as your mind, your mental state, okay? It's a, a need to declutter. All right. Thank you for joining me again. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I truly appreciate you guys, all of the love that you give to me. Thank you for booking. I do have availability. I am booking appointments for tomorrow. Okay. So if you'd like to book an appointment with me, please give me a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. I truly appreciate you guys. Okay. Thank you for everything that you do for me and for the channel. You guys are so loved. Okay. So by me, and the divine. It's a lot of energies out here that we all need to pay attention to, okay? And um, definitely the cleansing our energy is very important to us. So in addition to being um, protected by the divine, your ancestors and your spirit guides, divine still want you to protect yourself as well, at least your energy, okay? While they do the outside work, okay? So um, on that note, I do have... Um, I'm all in my dream catcher energy, guys. I'm trying to catch my dreams. It's time for me to follow my dreams and go in a different direction. So I got a lot of different things happening and I'm moving in another direction. I'm changing my life. All right. And you guys will see changes within me uh, shortly, but surely. OK, but um, also these are um, my protection oil. I have a kit here. Forty four dollars and forty four cents. OK, and this is my protection oil. And like I say, you guys always ask me, I just like crisscross my forehead or my wrist here with my protection oil. So it's giving me an energy of being protected daily by the divine. All right. We put this all together with a San Paulo stick. All right. A stick of sage. And cinnamon, cinnamon is for protection and it's also prosperity in your finances, okay? And then I have my sage soap, okay? And this is honey and goat's milk sage soap, all right? And then I have a large spiritual bath here, okay? And this um, special right here is $44.44 and the shipping on this is just $8.55, okay? So if you like to place an order for this, this is a spiritual bath as long as with as well as with some sage and San Paulo and cinnamon, all right, to just protect your energy and your space, all right? This special right here is, um, like I said, $44.44. So if you'd like to place an order, email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com, okay? All right, so I got some energies for you guys. Oh, yeah, and I got different flavors of soap, okay? Um I have a lot of energies, okay, and um, definitely protecting yourself and being aware and being smart, all right, um, just about your awareness. Everybody can't be trusted in your circle, all right? People are jealous, and I know that you guys have been hearing a lot of this around the YouTube tarot readers. It's a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy, and you could be staying in your circle, all right, staying in your home or just trying to protect yourself and feeling insecure now. OK, because of all this hate and jealousy. OK, but divine is protecting you. But, um, you know, it's just other people don't think like you. OK, you accepted your loss, your win in this relationship, this situation, this journey, and you moved on. All right. You wasn't forcing someone to give you, um, you know, what you wanted and all that kind of stuff. All right. But that's happening on the other end. OK, but you have accepted this. The problem is someone can't accept that you don't give a fuck anymore. Someone can't accept that you have accepted it is what it is. All right. They're having a hard problem with your attitude, your mentality. And you're really not even putting any energy into the situation anymore. All right. But somebody's pissed off about that. Somebody's hating to lose to see you win. OK, and you're not really winning. The only thing you're winning, you are majorly winning. You're winning your peace, your sanity. OK, you're winning your self-love. You're winning your worth and your value. All right. After losing it for so long. OK, you might pray a lot. You really have gotten to your spiritual growth, your side. 
but somebody's angry about that. And it could be your past lover. And it even could be the person that your past lover could be obsessed and the person they're with is pissed off about that energy. Okay. Someone don't want you to win. Someone's listening to your tail readings. All right. I'm listening to your sign through different tail readings and they find out about your life. And they're very jealous about that. And you guys know that. And that's why this doppelganger energy is here. All right. You have did nothing wrong. It's just that somebody's obsessed with the way you are. Like you have beat this situation. Somebody wanted you to be down, stay where you were when you were sick over this situation. But you've grown with the strength of your ancestors, of God and, the, and your, your guidance, your divine. You know, you have grown and someone's pissed because you now know what's best for you. And you know that this situation is not it. All right. It's not it anymore. And you're ready to move forward to wherever divine is trying to send you. You have accepted that this situation is over. You could be seeing 10, 10. You could be seeing five, five, five. Your energy be, could be low because you feel this jealousy. You feel this hate. Okay. You feel that someone is mad that you walked away. You feel that someone is insecure that, you know, you might be moving on with your life. You feel drainage. You're scared of this person, actually. All right. And this is some energies that and I can resonate with some of this energy as well. I'm trying to move on with my life. And divine said it's time to move on with your life. You have did nothing wrong at all. So don't feel like you have did anything wrong. It's just time for you to move on with your life. You've accepted your loss, your hurt, your pain, and you have healed. You're not out seeking revenge. You're not doing magic on anyone. You're not trying to hurt anyone. You're just trying to be at peace and move on with your life. And that's what you're asking God as you stay protected in his holy name, as you stay shielded in his holy name by your ancestors who's guiding you as you continue to move on and do nothing wrong. But someone just don't like you for that. Okay. So that's some channel messages I have here. All right. And here's some that I wrote down. All right. And someone's very in fear about going to jail in fear about going to jail. Okay. I hear GBI. All right. And when I woke up, I hear, I live here in Atlanta. And when I woke up, that was the first story GBI. All right. That's Georgia Bureau of Investigations. So somebody's definitely um, under investigation. It don't even have to be here in Georgia. It could just be anywhere. Okay. The next um, thing I hear right here is, um, some kids, they might need a place to stay. The kids do. All right. And, um, this is used divine. Want you to really, you know, think about what you've been through as you heal. Okay. Because divine is saying that when you really think about it at the end of the day, when you heal and find yourself, you realize that you really didn't have that much in common with this person. You really didn't. It's because you didn't know yourself when you was with this person. You didn't know who you was. But when you found yourself, you realize that you guys are on different pages. Okay. You realize that. Okay. And the next thing um, that I had right here was kind of disturbing, but um, I literally had a dream about someone meeting someone at the cemetery. And that's all it was. I just seen two people meet at the cemetery. All right. Like someone is teaching someone at the cemetery. So they met there. Okay. And um, also when I um, had that cemetery thing, my phone beeped. I was like, what was somebody mean at the cemetery? And um, my phone beeped. And that was my confirmation. When I have my um, intuitions and when I have these thoughts and downloads and I'd be like, question them, it's like, God, give me my phone beep. And I'd be like, okay. And that's it. I go there. Okay. So that's the channel energies I have for you guys for this. All right. I see it's nine minutes. I'm sorry. I um, spent so much time, but I like to share everything with you guys. Okay. And as we grow forward, divine want me to share my healing ways with you guys. 
and with some of my, you know, stories as far as um, how I healed myself. It was a long process. It's nothing that's going to happen overnight. So that's what divine want you to know. Don't beat yourself up. It's not a time limit, but you got to start somewhere. Okay. So the situation is short term. Somebody's just out, just blinding people and just offering short term relationships. This is short term energy. It's just like 60 to 90 days, you know, maybe six months. This is all someone is able to give is short term relationships before you start running into a bunch of problems with this person. All right. And divine is also saying that if you return to a person that you left because of issues, it's only going to be short term. You're going to be blinded. OK, about what's going on here, because someone is still having a secret affair. Someone is still stuck in third party energy. All right. They definitely have a strong sexual desire. This is that sexual addiction that someone is dealing with and they will continue to have secret affairs. All right. They definitely have a karmic attachment. All right. Attached to their ass, a karmic attachment. And this karmic attachment is a sexual desire. OK. The next energy I got is your person could have came by your house and they could have noticed that maybe you moved. All right. They could have noticed that maybe you moved on. All right. You're not going to be dealing with this competition anymore. This is all this person kept you in is third party competitions. All right. And love triangles because they did not want to make a choice and they're um, karmically attached to sexual desires. All right. They just kept you stuck here and they wouldn't make a sacrifice between you and their addiction. OK, they wouldn't. And Divine said what the next card is because they were very arrogant. They wanted to have it all their cake and their eat it too. their cake and they wanted to eat it too. OK, so the next energy I got right here is a new chapter, a new beginning, because this is my falling angel deck. It's a cycle that's closed. Divine closed it. You closed it. Something is complete. And now there's a new chapter about to begin. Six and four is 10. That's that 10, 10 energy. OK, it's a cycle that's closed and a new cycle is beginning. You can also be resonating with the death card. OK, some shit is over and divine helped you close out a cycle because it was too toxic. All right. Divine said it kept on going round and round and round with the same bullshit. OK. The next card right here, somebody deeply regrets how they treated you. They deeply regret how they fucked you over. Okay. So we're going to go into the energies. Oh yeah. And this is sticking out right here. This deck right here, just to give you guys some emotions. This person thought you were really sweet. All right. So we'll use this deck just because it's sticking out. Okay. So we're going to find out get into the energies. Okay. And then what's shaking for the weekend is next guys. All right. And it's like divine state, even though you might be taking punches, even though you might be getting beaten down over situations, you know, still get up and roll with the punches, still be a survivor guys, still be strong. All right. Don't let this negative vibe get you down. Okay. Don't let it get you down. Don't change who you are. Okay. Because divine said, you're amazing just the way you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Spirit. They said that. All right. Woo. All right. Some of you guys have been crying. Y'all been feeling emotional. Y'all feel kind of lost in life a little bit. I'm feeling this energy. Okay. So Holy Spirit, what do we need to know in this reading? All right. What do we keep going round and round in Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? All right. Let us know. It's a hold up because somebody keep holding you guys up. You guys could be waiting for someone to make a decision. They're not making a fucking decision. Divine said they're fucking manipulating you. They're playing with your fucking mind. Okay. They're not going to make a decision. Holy Spirit. What's this card? Because they're a snake charmer. All right. And they already have a snake that's charming them. So it's like whatever's happening to them, they're projecting this energy off to you. Okay. 
Holy Spirit. What's, what do we need to know? All right. All right. Look at this. All right. This card fell. That somebody's doing magic. All right. Somebody's a magician here. Somebody's pulling the strings, a master manifester, magic, action, creation. So this person is trying to manifest you back in their life. Okay. And you're very suspicious of this person. You don't trust this person anymore. All right. You don't trust this person. Some of you guys are so strong. You could be just energetically stopping this manifestation because you don't want this person in your life anymore. You know, they're nothing but fucking trouble. Okay. This is what you're doing. You're being cautious. You got major trust issues with this person. You're very pessimistic about this. And you're just expecting the worst. You think that this person will get you hurt, set you up, get you beat up, caught up with other people, women. You don't trust this person in your life, but they're trying to manifest you back. Holy Spirit is saying, what do we need to know? Holy Spirit, give us the energy, please. What do we need to know? Thank you. All right. Because this is beauty and a beast. All right. Your beauty, your sweetness, and this person is just a fucking beast. Okay. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? All right. Yeah. This person is yearning for you. They really miss you. Nostalgia energy over you. Okay. But guess what? You had a wake up call. The light bulb came on. You are aware this person's bullshit. All right. You are aware of who they are and you know that this person is a master manipulator. OK, you're a master manipulator. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Manipulation. Confirmation. This person is a master manipulator. OK, mm. all they do is keep you stuck and trapped. It's like a circus tent. So you're not the only person. All right. People try to this person try to play you like a fucking clown. All right. They try to play a lot of people like a clown. So that's why they got a tent. This person is life is like a fucking circus. And this is what they want to put you in a fucking circus. All right. After you have worked on yourself, healed yourself. OK, because it's a bunch of secrets with this person. They don't want to tell you shit that's going on. If they do, it's only half truths. This is some person that you always get caught up in fuck shit with. You can't trust them. They're very secretive, manipulative. The same energy. They're just stuck in this fuck shit ass energy that they act like they can't change. Okay? And they really want to put your energy and your life in this shit too. Okay? And they're kind of pissed off that you don't want to accept it. You could be, you know, defiant, you know, defensive, you know, you know, like me. Okay? not accepting the fuck shit. All right. And this is a loose cannon. Yeah. Cause you feel like this person is reckless. Who would want to be with someone who always caught up in shit and this shit could fuck with somebody's life, their stability. It's time to be an adult here and make better decisions eventually in your life. Okay. So it's like feeling out of control, unpredictable, spontaneous erratic behavior this is what this person brings to the table all right they always try to water down shit they always act like they're going to make things better it's just a watered down response to their fuck shit okay and this is putting in the effort all right and you want to um this person put in little effort they breadcrumb you okay and this is you know how to water your own fucking grass you could be a green thumb you all about growth. You're tired of having patience for this shit. You're tired of this. This is what not what you're trying to do anymore. You're trying to go up the fucking ladder of success. And you willing to go at that alone if your love life is just unstable. And you're not ready to let someone else in your life to bring you erratic behavior, insecurities, instability, 444, taking you out of your spiritual growth when you done came so far taking you back to a bunch of insecurities that you felt when you was with this person, bringing up trust issues, abandonment, wondering if they're going to come home later on, if they're going to answer your call, if they're going to respond to your text, if they was really at work, why would you want to deal with that energy anymore to stop you from going up the ladder? And this is what the divine said. You're on your way up. Don't let somebody bring you back down. OK, somebody pissed off that I'm giving this message because it's making you stronger. 
Somebody's realizing that you are having that epiphany and waking up. All right. Yep. Somebody's a big flirt. This is the person who is just a fucking clown and they won't stop being a clown with they fuck shit. All right. This is the way they are. They're a big flirt. All right. This is charismatic type of energy here. All right. This is sublimial, sublimial seduction. All right. Keeping things light, you know, flirting with you, but also letting you know that if I let you fuck me, you know, they will. OK, that type of energy here, just like that sexual flirting to me. OK, somebody you're looking for someone who's going to be loyal to you. You know about loyalty and trust now. You're not into all of this game and shit, this mind fuck anymore, all right? You only want someone who is in their heart, coming from their heart, dependable, faithful, and who's going to be devoted to you and to someone who wants to keep playing games with you, okay? Like that, keep doing magic on you, trying to manifest you back in their life, trying to keep playing games, manifesting Anything that they want, they think they can do it. But if you're a fucking devil, if you're out here doing black magic, this is not manifesting for you. All right? If you're manifesting fraudulently, this is not working for you. If you're trying to manifest for your own greedy, selfish needs, this is not working for you. All right? Because divine said you fucking confused if you think it is. Okay? Two, two, two. All right. And this is you unable to think clearly. You scattered, complicated, and you're difficult to understand. And this is how this person is. This is what they do to other people. Confuse you. Just keep you stuck in a shit. It's a big mind game. All right. And this is you're innocent to this shit. All right. You don't you had to learn how to deal with someone with this behavior. You wasn't used to this. You had to like get guarded up with this motherfucker to be with them because you could not trust this person. Okay. And this is you looking for pure love, a fun connection, and you want to be young at heart. You want somebody to make you feel good again. Like life and love is fun, not stressed. Okay. Like this relationship. Okay. Is there any more messages that you want to share with us in this, re in this reading, Holy Spirit? All right. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's all this motherfucker has to say is bullshit. They don't even know how to hold a real conversation with you. Blah, blah, blah. They just talking bullshit. All right? Holy Spirit, divine said, it is what it is. Da, da, da. Look at that shit. They talking manipulation. Mm. So divine said, blah, blah, blah. They talking bullshit. Still coming in, trying to manipulate you. Divine said, you have been illuminated to this bullshit. All right. But hell, they miss you and can't stop thinking about you. All right. But divine, divine said, blah, 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 bullshit. Manipulation. All right. Thank you for that message right there, spirit. All right. They said this beauty and the beast energy. Okay. Woo. Let's talk about this arrogant person that divine is saying is really arrogant right here. Okay. Arrogance. Very. Because they haven't learned their fucking lessons yet. They have not learned their lessons. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's the energy that you want to share with us? Okay. Thank you. But they said, don't lose hope. All right. This person might be not losing hope. All right. What's the energy you want to share with us, Holy Spirit, for this reading? Yeah, they strategizing. Blah, blah, blah. They're strategizing away. They're hoping that you guys can connect, okay? Now, the other energy is that karmics are watching these videos and they're also getting pissed off because they're learning about what their um, person is doing. The person they're with, they're learning about this person and they're finding out shit that they really can't believe this person is doing. And they're finding out all of this through tarot. So it's also like divine is teaching them too to probably love yourselves or stay stuck in this fuck shit. Okay, so they're definitely strategizing. All right, here. What are the messages for this reading? All right, so here's some. Ooh. All right, dang, somebody didn't want me to say that. Look at that, I got throat chakra. <clears throat> All right, so the next energy I got right here is, yeah, they're fighting it. They're fighting the fact that they know they're losing you. Okay, they could be like that um, saving grace type of energy here, just fighting it, trying to put on a good front in front of everybody else. But when they're alone, deep down inside, they're really hurt over this. They're really hurt. 
And like this is deep regrets that they feel over you. Okay. And this is, they feel like this is worth waiting for. And they hope that you would feel this way too. Okay. This is divinely guided. Divine is here. All right. Everything is in divine timing. Okay. The next message is they're definitely stalking the shit out of you. Especially if you're on Facebook, Instagram, social media, YouTube, they're stalking the shit out of you. Okay. And they could be doing this at work as well. And they could be watching your work. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit. What's the energies here that you want to share? Yeah. They chose you. But did you choose them is the question. Is it too late? Do you want this person? Okay. Look at that. Because they want to really be free. All right. You know, they want to be free before. But now they're saying they chose you. All right. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know here? Yeah, it's only because they have a desire to win. And if you reject this person, they already have a plan B. They already feel like they'll flaunt someone else bigger and prettier and better or whatever around you. This is so um, just immature behavior. This is someone who's just all about the desire to win. Okay, Holy Spirit. Yes, this person could be self-pleasuring themselves, masturbating over you, the thoughts of you, the pictures of you, memories of you. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the energies that we need to, all right? But guess what? Divine said enough is enough. Enough is enough in this connection here because all this person do is have flings and one night stands and go around and fuck people, all right? And then they get shut down. You know, and then they shut down. They don't know about love. So they want to stay on that path of not knowing about love. Okay. And just have flings and stay shut down. Because if they have flings, they don't have to worry about their feelings. All right. Because now they realize that you're incomparable. They can't find anybody that is uh, comparable to you that offers what you offer in a loving relationship. All right. This person is hurt. They can't realize that. They, um, they realized that they lost something that was valuable to them, but it took a lot of people for them to go through to realize that. So they done broke a lot of hearts. They done hurt a lot of other people. All right. Just trying to, you know, despite you. Okay. But really they came out and, you know, hurt themselves. All right. They had your chance with you. All right. Yeah. They kept on dating other people. That's what they kept on doing, just dating other people, looking for you and other people. And you guys have heard this shit before, okay? And this is, yup. And now they hunt it because you're gone. They hunt it because they lost you, all right? Whoever you are out there, they hunt it. They miss you. But they sure as hell won't tell you, okay? They'll lose you before they even tell you anything about, you know, how they feel. Because they tried to get rid of you. They eliminated every thought of you. Pictures, email, texts, everything. Any messages, gifts. They tried to throw everything out just to get rid of you. All right? And they failed at it. And now they're realizing how much they still care. All right? But this is taking it slow. They want to take it slow with you. They want to reconnect with you. But Divine says it's a big old jealous factor here. It's a lot of jealousy. This person could be dating now and someone's stalking them profusely as they stalk you. All right. So just be careful. This just sound like a bunch of fuck shit that's, you know, caught up here in this energy. Yeah. Cause somebody keep thinking the grass is greener on the other side. They just keep going out, meeting new people. That's why it was all them people, them heads down there. Cause all that shit is felt energy. They just keep on going out thinking the grass is greener. Divine said, trust the plan. All right. Erase this motherfucker out of your life like they did you and move the fuck on. Okay? All right. So the next energies I'm going for, because they have definitely karmic attachments. Okay? You need to free yourself from this person here. Liberate yourself. Find your own freedom. All right? Or this is what they need to do from these karmic attachments here, because this person is very fucking disrespectful. They're very disrespectful. You know, if you out there getting treated like this, you're dealing with a hustler, a player, manipulator, a narcissist. You know, just think about that shit. You know you deserve better than that. You're beautiful. You know you deserve better. Stop settling. 
all right? For some toxic ass motherfucker, all right? That keep on putting you around and round and round, whole nother deck, still round and round in situations. It's just going to keep on happening over and over again, okay? So that's what divine is saying. They're going to keep on doing the same fuck shit with you over and over again. They got an imbalance in their life. They could be dealing with someone who is at an imbalance. Definitely someone who got triggered emotions, unhealthy behaviors. This is unstable energy here, insecure. And this is that attachment. So this could be the karmic attachment that's unstable. Somebody could have a drinking problem as well. Okay. But it's a lot of jealousy here. You know, it's a lot of jealousy within this attachment that this masculine is going through. And they're also jealous if you moved on with your life and you're dating new people. It's just this person don't know themselves. Sociopath energy here. Just want to make sure you ain't with nobody, but they can be with somebody. You can't be happy only if you with them and then they don't want to treat you happy. That's just crazy. Okay. And y'all got to know that is. Holy Spirit, what's the energies that we need to know for this reading, please? All right. Yeah. Somebody right, try to run guilt trips on you. Try to make you feel guilty about shit. Always try to blame stuff on you. But whatever the situation is, they always think that sex can fix the problem. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's the messages? Yes. This is somebody wants your forgiveness. Somebody might surprise you. Somebody might bring you flowers, but they want your forgiveness. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the energies that we need for this reading? Mm-hmm, yep, but they stuck in a karmic cycle. All right, divine is saying they stuck in a karmic cycle, and that's why these same patterns keep reoccurring. So how many times have they apologized to you? How many times have they did this to you? If it continues to happen, you're stuck in a repetitive karmic cycle. Okay, Holy Spirit of cheating of a liar. And that's what divine is saying with the cheater and a liar who's going to keep on doing this to you over and over again. All right. We got these cards sticking out right here. They're going to keep on saying, I'm sorry. All right. And then you're going to keep on holding grudges because this is a repetitive cycle. How many times are you going to accept apology of a cheater? Divine is saying that this is not a mistake anymore. After one time of cheating, you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. Okay. The next energy right here is conditional. All right. It's like you're in a conditional relationship. This is long as I can do what I want to do. Long as I can cheat. Long as I can have threesomes. Long as I can go and do what I want to do. And you stand by my side. We're going to stay in this relationship. Okay. So it's a one-sided relationship. That's why it's conditional and divine saying this kind of shit right here kill you. Both of them look like skeletons, okay? It's unhealthy and it's toxic, okay? And this is enthusiasm. Be with someone who makes you happy and bring enthusiasm to your life. Instead of staying with someone who's going to keep you stuck in a karmic cycle, okay? Your healthier relationships, define your self-worth. Divine said, find out who you are. Find your self-worth, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages that we need to know for this? How's this person feeling for you at this time? All right. Just remember a masculine energy could be a male or a female. This is how they feel for you at this time. They truly miss you. All right. They truly miss you. Okay. Holy Spirit. What is the energies that we need to have for this reading? How are they feeling? All right. They want a new start with you. All right. But however, this person is stuck in a karmic cycle. All right. They want you to open your heart. All right. To them again, give them another chance, you know, look at them differently. All right. They want to get closer to you again. Okay. Holy Spirit, how are they feeling? What is the energies? All right. They feel like you guys are sacred partners. You guys have a divine connection. All right. They feel so close to you. They feel like this is epic love. This is something awesome that they share it with you. It's like no other. Okay. They don't want to give up on this connection or you. Okay. They just don't want to give up. They're not ready to let you go, but yet they have created 
a bunch of obstacles to actually have this to continue. All right, Holy Spirit, what are the messages that you want me to share? Thank you. All right, and this is having fun. They always have fun with you. All right, so this is in reverse. Unconditional love, they feel like you don't love them the same anymore. They're not sure if you're still going to give them unconditional love because they keep choosing different directions. All right, they kept it stagnant. You're just ready to move on with your life. All right, it could be some Leo energy here. Okay, the next one is going towards this energy of the union. Okay, they want to go towards this energy, the union, but they're just not sure if you still feel the same. All right, they tore this unconditional love away from you. So now this could be conditional love. All right, you got conditions for this love now. Okay, but now they want this union. Any more messages? They fantasizing about it. They thinking about it, but they're also um, realizing that they have to sacrifice their addictions. All right, they hoes. You know, there's their greediness for money. All right, the need to always think the grass is greener on the other side. All right, the need to, um, you know, put put you down as far as who you are, as far as your spiritual journey, as far as how you heal yourself. You know, they also need to open up emotionally, affectionately. This is something that you really have to work with if you want this union or this relationship with this person again, for those of you who are still here in this journey. Okay. Yeah. They want to share everything with you now. All right. They really want to share your love. They want you to love them like they used to, like you guys used to have that love, but this person is still dark. They still have a lot of shadow energy, all right, here, all right? And this is, they want this oneness with you. Somebody's definitely looking for you to heal them through this dark energy that they're going through right now. And they want to tell you that they're sorry, all right? They want to tell you how sorry they are and, you know, how they treated you here, okay? And it's a lot of sexual energy here, Knight of Wands energy, all right? Somebody want to get in your panties in your bed and then they're gone. All right, because they feel all these sparks. So I still feel strong manipulation because at the end of this conversation, they do want to fuck. All right. Yeah, you, you could definitely be a fire sign. Leo Aries Sag. All right. They on fire thinking about you or masturbating to you. OK, they definitely had a crossroads about you. All right. You guys are mirroring energies, twin flame. Definitely. You mirroring this energy. OK, and they just want to kiss you. All right. I just feel like it's a big warning with this energy here. They don't want to wait for divine timing, but divine say you will because it's still some more moon energy that needs to surface here. OK, so this is a balanced energy here. This could be going on with some earth sign energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Somebody is about to receive a gift. Look at this deck over here. This is my cash deck. All right, for the weekend. All right, shuffled. Expect the unexpected. All right, and over here I'm looking because somebody's about to receive a divine gift. Okay, so expect the unexpected, guys. All right, let's see what this energy is right here with your traditional tarot. All right, just want to give you guys some messages. Yeah, you feel at home to this person. You feel at home to this person. All right, they might want to come rushing in. Here's the chariot. Someone could have a new veil call as well, okay? But it's a lot of rushing energy, all right? Eight of Wands, I still feel sexual energy. Somebody see you as someone they can have a victory with. Six of Wands, someone who makes them happy. Fire sign energy, Leo Aries Sag, all right? Any more messages, Holy Spirit? Yeah, Three of Cups, they want to celebrate with you, all right? They might want to take you to the hotel and, you know, do all this love shit with you. Water sign, energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is the energies? Hmm. This could be um, a spiritual connection, but this also could be divine. This person could be married. This could be a pastor. So just watch this energy, okay? It could be something going on with that. And it's something that divine is warning you about, like, all right? And you know how to made some warning videos about some shit. The hair font is here for a reason, all right? So maybe you need your high priestess. 
All right. Yeah, because this person, Seven of Cups, they still got a lot of options and stuff going on. They could have, still have a lot of people that they're fucking. Up to seven people damn near. Water sign, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Next energy is, yeah, taking to the fucking room, celebrating. Definitely third party energy. So they're saying, watch out for that shit. All right. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, because here's the Knight of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. The Knight of Cups is my player card. All right. So this person offered a heart to a lot of people. Okay. Divine said, don't be a fool. All right. But also this person like to take leaps of faith into love. All right. All the time. And they could possibly want to take a leap of faith with you. All right. So this is the energy that this could be someone who broke your heart. They could be coming from a broken hearted situation. It could be an air sign energy that maybe this person is broken hearted over Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay, but also at the end of the day, here's the sun card. All right, this is Leo energy, Leo Aries Sag, but Leo energy, the sun. Just finding happiness. This is the best card in the whole tarot deck. Finding complete happiness at the end of the day. All right, and this could be with you. All right, and somebody know they want to apologize. Page of Cups here, they owe you an apology. Okay, these two cards sticking out here. All right, so here's a page of pentacles. All right, it could be something in regards to money, child support, immature kids. All right, somebody could have got caught up. I see young folks here. All right, and it was a tower moment. A tower moment here, okay? And the other energy I got about a decision. Somebody could have been dealing with two different people. It could have been two fire signs, but somebody couldn't make a decision. All right, it could have been, you know, a, you know, uh, um, young, these are young energies to me. All right. But a page, somebody also could have got a new job as well on the pay might not be what you want it to be, but it is a job you are employed. All right. And I do see the tower here. So there is a tower that's going on here. Somebody possibly couldn't make a choice. So a choice was made. All right. And somebody could have left a situation and they now have to pay child support. Okay. Clarify the tower, Holy Spirit. Why is the tower here? Yep, because somebody was juggling, all right? Somebody could have been juggling a fire sign and an earth sign, okay? So that's why the tower is here. A shady, faulty foundation has been torn down, all right? So this is what I have for you guys in this video. If you want your own personal reading, give me a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com, all right? You all be safe, all right? And think positive and cleanse that energy. Love you guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.